In a distant time, God dwelled in a formless world shrouded in darkness. He commanded the imperial waters, and in a sublime moment, he spoke the words that echo eternally, let there be light. This light emerged, revealing his divine power. However, a fundamental theological question persists. Where did God come from? When heaven and earth were nothing more than a promise, when darkness reigned over a shapeless void, God already existed. He majestically dwelt alone in his divine greatness, calling out light from darkness, bringing order out of chaos, and creating a cosmos out of confusion. Some assert that God created the earth 6,000 years ago in just six days. However, to be philosophically consistent and honest, the question arises, where did God come from? Once we understand the origin of God, we cannot comprehend the influence of a spiritual force on a material universe. The quest for truth extends to infinity, challenging our minds and leading us to question the depths of the unknown. The idea of a created God is intriguing because it leads us to consider a more plausible explanation for the impossibility of something arising from nothing. If we agree that it is not possible to create something from absolute void, we arrive at a powerful conclusion that there must be something eternal always existing for us to be trapped in eternal emptiness. Everything we know about the physical world leads us to doubt that something can exist eternally, especially since the 1930s when the Big Bang Theory was widely accepted. The theory suggests that our current universe is just a temporal manifestation in an infinite series. The evidence is that the universe is constantly changing, with energy being consumed and stars losing their energy. The big question is whether whatever has existed eternally must be entirely different from what we see today. The source of everything must be something beyond our current understanding, and we are challenged to explore the true nature of this mystery that transcends our physical world. Christian, Jewish, and Islamic traditions claim that God is eternal, so the question about the origin of God does not apply to him by definition. The only way to argue against this is to assume that everything is interconnected and that everything is a result of God's creation. The question of who created God is central to the Christian faith, as it suggests that all things have their origin in something eternal and transcendent. Ancient Greeks explored this concept, and the Gospel of John begins with the words, In the beginning was the word. This statement invites us to consider whether there is something or someone who never came into existence. Christians claim that this being is God, and this assertion is central to their faith, the question of who created God may seem legitimate to some, but for those who believe that the universe created everything, the question becomes more complex. When we refer to God as an eternal and timeless being, the answer becomes simple. Nothing could have brought into existence a reality that completely transcends space and time. This understanding is beyond the categories of beginning and end, as anything that begins to exist needs a cause. Eternal truths such as numbers or mathematical objects do not need a cause because they never come into existence. The concept of God is precisely the concept of an eternal and self-existent being a primal necessity. Therefore, the answer is simple. God has no cause because he is self-existent. Our definition of God is the uncreated creator of the universe who transcends all limitations of time and space. The question of who created the uncreated creator is like asking about the sound of silence or what emptiness does. There is a definition of silence that prevents us from asking such a question, and this brings us to an important point. Christians base their beliefs on a God who was not created, while atheists often provide different answers. As a former atheist, I also used to believe in an uncreated creator, although my understanding was different. Ultimately, everyone believes in the existence of an uncreated creator. The concept of an uncreated creator is a fundamental question in our understanding of the universe. The continuum of time, space, and matter, known as the crux of matter, is the crux of these elements. If there was space without time, where would you place it? And if there were matter in space but no time, when would you place it? It is not possible to separate time and space. The Bible addresses this issue concisely in just ten words. God created the heavens, space, and earth, forming an essential trinity, time, space, and matter. These three elements form an essential trinity, which includes the past, present, and future. Space has length, width, and height, while matter exists in the states of gas, liquid, and solid. The trinity of the trinity was created instantly, and the God who created them must be beyond them, transcending all temporal limitations. If God was subject to time, he would not be true to be God, as he would be restricted by his own creation. 
The creator of a computer is not trapped inside the computer manipulating numbers on the screen, and the God who created the universe is not bound by it. Dan's claim that a spiritual force cannot have any effect on a material body raises intriguing questions about how we explain emotions, love, hate, envy, jealousy, and rationality. The God I admire is not restricted by time and space, and even if we tried to frame him in my mind, he would still be worthy of worship. The reason God came from nothing is that there was no place for him to come from or where to come from. He did not emerge from anywhere, and the reason he had to stand on nothing is that there was nowhere for him to stand. In the book of Genesis, God hung the world on nothing and stood on nothing, casting stars into space. No one contested this, and God himself said this was good. In conclusion, the search for truth is a personal and spiritual journey, and each person can find meaning and purpose in their own way. The complexity and beauty of the universe and the mystery surrounding divinity are explored in these discussions, inspiring appreciation for the complexity and beauty of the universe. Thank you for watching. Please like and share. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.